Legend has it that in 2008, a trick so simple, yet so devious, fooled one of the greatest athletes ever to set foot on this planet. His name? Cristiano Ronaldo. This is one of those amazing effects that takes only seconds to learn, yet will deceive literally everyone you show it to. This is the magic trick that fooled Ronaldo, but don't let it fool you. The magician took a deck of cards and allowed Ronaldo to choose one. This was genuinely a free choice. In this case, he had selected the Jack of Clubs. The magician then took Ronaldo's card and placed it back into the deck. It was slowly pushed in and everything was clean and fair. The magician then asked what card Ronaldo had selected. He said it was the Jack of Clubs. The magician then said, if I wanted to make your card turn face up, I could just spread through the deck, find your card, and then turn it face up like this. But of course, that would be far too easy. So instead, I'll snap my fingers and make every card in the deck turn face up. Except for one. And the one card that is face down in the face up deck just so happens to be the Jack of Clubs. Hey, what's up everyone? Oscar Owen here. And very quickly, before I teach you how to do this effect, I just wanted to quickly mention that you can learn way more tricks like this one on my online card course, Card Magic Pro. Card Magic Pro is a course that I've created and it will teach you how to do all the greatest card tricks in the world. I reveal the exact card tricks that I would do if someone gave me a deck of cards and told me to perform. So if you want to learn effects that are just way too good to reveal on YouTube, then please click the first link in the description and check out the course. It really does help support the channel and you'll learn what I think are some of the best magic tricks out there. Take a deck of cards and then flip it over and turn the bottom two cards over as shown. Now flip the deck back over. Spread through the cards and let the spectator choose one. Be careful not to flash the two face-up cards at the bottom of the deck. Just display the top three quarters of the deck to the spectator. Whilst they're looking at their card, you've got all the misdirection in the world to rotate your wrist and flip the deck over and place it back on the table. Take back the spectator's card and fairly push it into the deck about midway down. Do this slowly so that the image of their card going into a seemingly face down deck is burnt into their mind. Of course, in reality, it's going into a face up deck. Now ask the spectator for the name of their card and explain that if you wanted to turn their card face up, you could simply spread through the deck, find their card, turn it around, and then you've turned their card face up. As you explain this to the spectator, turn over the top card in the deck as an example. Then snap your fingers and say, that would be way too easy. Suddenly spread through the cards, and to their amazement, all the cards will be face up, apart from one card. You need to be careful when you spread the cards out, because at the end of the spread, there'll be a second face down card. To prevent this card from being seen, just stop spreading the cards early, and the spectator will never see the face down card. Now simply let the spectator pull out their card and reveal that it's the only one face down in the deck. Whilst this is a simple trick, it does take the spectator by surprise and is a really good effect to springboard into other different card tricks.